Mayor Mitch, I want to thank you so much on behalf of all of the women in Pennsylvania for the legislation that you got through five years ago that required mammography centers to tell women whether they have dense breasts or not. And if they do have dense breasts, they may need additional screening. And that's the next step. Could you please tell us about your new bill, Senate Bill 595, that will help women at high risk for breast cancer and women with dense breast, which is a risk factor for breast cancer. As we've talked in the past, the, the density actually hides or screens the um, cancer. So what we need to do is, uh, if uh, consulting with your your physician or an oncologist or a breast uh, surgeon, um, we we want to be able to provide the women the ability to go the next step, which could be an ultrasound or an MRI, to be able to much more scientifically diagnose the existence of breast cancer. Absolutely, and that's such a step forward. First was identifying the women with dense breasts so that they know, and you're our hero, you're our hero on that. But now we have something that they can do about it so that they can have access to additional screening tools, particularly MRIs yes. and ultrasound, yes. and it will save lives. It makes a real difference to women at what stage they are diagnosed. And for many women, like one of our members, Cindy, who had dense breasts but didn't know it, and she was diagnosed at a very late stage. It was devastating, the fact that one, I didn't, I didn't even know. I, I knew previously um, I had a dense area. At one point, one of my physicians had mentioned it. It was never on my report. I didn't know what it meant. It seemed like it was a normal finding. Um, and I was really angry that I've never been told that one, I really had dense breast tissue throughout both my breasts and that, um, you know, it can hide the cancer on a mammogram. I can't change it. It can't change for me now. Nothing's going to change yet, but I can make a difference maybe for other women. And Cindy isn't with us today because she was diagnosed late. Her mammograms did not detect it because she had dense breasts. And so we want to make Cindy the last person, the last person that dies because her breast cancer was not detected at an earlier, more treatable stage. This is about early diagnosis, this is about better treatment, this is also about a societal impact and being able to work with women. I think that the sooner we can have these early diagnosis tools, the better. It's for the women and so that they don't have to go through more extensive treatment and they get to live. Every piece of legislation that the Pennsylvania Breast Cancer <coughs> Coalition has been involved in, we have gotten passed. And I believe that because of the outstanding leadership of Senator Mensch and the hard work of the Breast Cancer Coalition, people out there with their senators, that we will get this legislation passed. Women across the state and their families will be better off for it.